What's up, tech fam? Let me tell you about the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Exam or SAO-CO2. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the exam, what resources I use, and how you can do it too. If you wanna hear that, stay tuned. All right, welcome back, tech fam. And if you've never been here before, my name is Warner Bell. I am a senior systems administrator slash multi-certified AWS cloud professional. And this is Gadget Tools Unlimited. Now, if you stuck around past the teaser, that means you're probably considering taking the AWS SysOps exam. And you're looking for any valuable nuggets you might could use to help make your exam study just a little bit easier. And that's why I'm here. I'm gonna give you all of my tips and all of my insight on the matter. Now, before we get started, just remember a free and easy way to support the channel and keep helping us helping you is to like and subscribe. And feel free to jump in the comments with any of your thoughts anytime. Now let's get down to the cert business. So I recently sat for and passed the AWS SysOps Administrator SAO-C02 exam. Now this is the second version of this exam and it was released November 15th of this year, 2022. I took the exam on November 19th. Now this is an associate level exam and they give you 180 minutes to complete it. This exam cost about $150. The format of the exam is 65 scoring opportunities. Now those could be multiple choice, multi-response or exam labs. Like I said, mine had labs. I had three labs and uh, a number of multiple choice questions and a number of multi-answer questions. The delivery method of these exams is usually a testing center. I always like to go to the testing center, but ever since COVID, you've been able to take these exams at home. I always advise against taking these exams at home just because of the technical difficulties aspect. You may not know how good your internet service is. Your computer may need updating. Anything can go wrong and you paid your money and you're taking the exam and you have technical difficulties and can't finish the test. That's gonna be a bummer. If you go to the testing center, they're responsible for making sure the exam works and all of that. And you'll, you likely won't have any issues. So I always advocate for going to the testing center just to make sure you don't have no extra stress because taking the exam is stressful enough, right? So I go to the testing center. I scheduled my exam probably a week or two before I actually went and took it and when I scheduled my exam about three days before the exam, Pearson View usually sends you a reminder that you have an upcoming exam. And lo and behold, when I got the email, they also had a little, a little uh, note in the um, notification and it, it read like this. For a limited time, we are allowing you to test out a free sample exam lab to get hands-on experience with the exam lab environment before you take the exam. You will be allowed to take the exam lab three times over a 90 day period from your first exam lab attempt. And then they give you instructions on a site you can go to to log in and, and use the account information they give you. And the hands on labs that they have are, will, are really similar to what you might find on your particular exam when you go into the testing studio. And Although it says for a limited time, hopefully they keep doing this. I think this was a great idea for them to send out this lab. I went and I took the lab and it was real easy to do because I had studied and I, I knew the material and it was just a, a pretty cool experience. So let me talk about some of the stuff I use to prepare myself for this exam. Now, right off the bat, I always say when taking uh, these certification exams, and it doesn't really matter which one, I always give myself three months at least to study and learn the material enough to pass the exam. It doesn't matter what exam I take, I always give myself three months. I always spend two to three hours a day going through that material. And I always have multiple different sources 
for my material. One of the sources I use is Cloud Academy and they have a AWS SysOps Administrator Associate Certification Preparation Learning Path that you that'll kind of get you ready for the exam it takes you through a lot of the content that you might find on there and there's a lot of hands-on labs you can take and i've also heard a lot of good things about tutorials dojo although i've never used their site i heard they got some good labs and stuff so that's definitely a good place to to start another resource i like to use is udemy you can usually get courses for like 10 to 12 bucks so uh, uh, the course I use was Neil Davis's AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate 2022, the SOA-CO2. Neil Davis has a great way of explaining the concepts to you in a way that you can grasp it. Like if you're brand new to AWS and cloud computing and you wanted to start with the SysOps Administrator Certification, I would recommend using Neil Davis's course because he has a way of explaining it that just makes it easy to understand and consume. He also gives these great scenario based questions in inside the training and they're really similar to the, the feel of the questions that uh, you might get on your actual AWS exam. Another resource I used was just the internet, right? You can always Google a bunch of keywords that will get you a bunch of information that you might be looking for. And so I, I like to do a lot of practice questions and see a lot of practice questions just so you can get a feel of how they ask questions to you and how you can come up with an answer based on how the question is asked. AWS also provides free and paid training on its skill builder site. So you can go and take a lot of uh, AWS courses for free just by signing up and creating yourself an account. And that's pretty much it, Tech Fam. You can take and pass this exam just like I did and keep leveling up till you get where you wanna be. So let me know in the comments if you took or are planning to take this exam and what you feel the toughest part of exam study in general is. And if you feel like you got something useful out of this video, consider sharing it so that others might benefit from the insight. And until the next video, Tech Fam, peace.